Adding and subtracting binary numbers is great, but let us take it to the next level and start multiplying and dividing binary numbers. Welcome. I'm Cons. I got a master's degree in computer science and currently work as a graduate research assistant and I'm here to help you to learn computer science with Python. Before we start multiplying binary numbers, let's first have a look on how you would multiply two decimal numbers. And as an example, we're going to multiply 23 with 45. And the decimal multiplication consists out of multiplying every digit of the first number with multiplying every digit of the second number. And the first multiplication we're going to do is to multiply the last digit of the first number with the first digit of the second number, which is 3 times 4. This results in 12 and we're going to write down the 2 of the 12 directly under the 4 and store a carry digit in the next column. Then we carry on and multiply 4 with 2, which is 8, and we have one carry digit and this results in 9. Now we have multiplied every digit of the first number with the first digit of the second number. Now we are going to multiply the last digit of the second number with every digit of the first number. And the first multiplication is 3 times 5 and the result is 15. And we write down the 5 one column after the 2 directly under the 5 of the second number here. And we also store the carry digit in the next column. Then we multiply 5 by 2, which is 10. So we write down a 1 because we have one carry digit. And then we have another carry digit which came from the 10. We just multiplied 5 by 2. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So we have the result 115. To get the result of the multiplication, the 92 and the 115 has to be added together, which is 5, 3, 10, carry digit 1. And when you put 23 times 45 in the calculator, you will get 1000 and 35. And the binary multiplication works in the exact same way. But instead of using the digits 0 to 9, we're only going to use the digits 1 and 0. As an example, we're going to multiply 10 with 5 and the binary representation of 10 is 1010 10, and the binary representation of 5 is 101. 1. And now we start to write down both of the binary numbers as we have seen with the decimal numbers put a multiplication sign in between and then we start off multiplying every bit of the first number with every bit of the second number. But what is the result of multiplying bits with each other? Each multiplication that includes a zero will always result in zero. And there's only the combination one with one that will result in one. So when we start off multiplying the first bit of the second number with all the bits of the first number, this will result in 0, 1, 0, 1, which is just the first number. Then we go over to the second number and every multiplication will result in 0. So we write down 0, 0, 0 and we make sure that we shift our result one column to the right. And lastly we have to multiply 1 again and we can just copy the first line and in the end we just add everything together. 0 and 0 is 0, 1 and 0 is 1, 0, 0, 0 is 0, 1 and 0 is 1, 1 and 1 is 0 and we have a carry bit. Then we have 0 and 1 which is 1 and then in the end we have 1 with 0 which is 1. And this result is the binary representation of 50. And if you like this video so far, make sure to give it a like so it can spread to more people and more people can start to learn computer science. So you have seen that the binary multiplication is actually much faster and easier than the decimal multiplication because you only have to multiply ones and zeros with each other. But for special cases of the binary multiplication, it can become even faster. You might have already spotted that the only difference between the 10 and the 5 in binary is that the 10 has an additional zero at the end. And this is actually a neat property of binary numbers. If you want to multiply a binary number by 2, you just add a 0 at the end. So if we take the 5, which is 1, 0, 1, and use the left shift operator, which is this one, and shift it by one digit to the left, we get 
one zero one zero which is ten and we can even do a multiplication by four eight sixteen every power of two by adding a different number here in the left chip of the operation so if we want to multiply five by eight we take one zero one and shift it by three digits which is one zero one zero 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 which is the representation of 40. And the left shift operation is also available in Python. So let's head into the Python interactive mode and try it out. So first enter a variable x equals 5. Let it quickly print as a decimal and a binary. And now we can see the decimal and the binary representation of the 5. And now we're going to use the left shift operation to multiply 5 with 8. So we enter our x where we have stored the 5 in. Then use the left shift operator and shift it by 3 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and that will result in 40. Now that you have seen the binary multiplication and the left shift operation it is time to talk about the binary division. And as an example we're going to divide 132 by 13 and we also need the negative representation of 13 which we have written down here in the 2's complement. As a first step we're going to write down our division which is the first number 132 divided by our second number 13 and we add an equal sign at the end. The first number is called the dividend and the second number is called the divisor. And in the binary division we are going to successively check if our divisor is included in certain bits of our dividend. And we start with this check with the first four bits of our dividend which is the length of our divisor. And we can see that our divisor is not included in the first four bits of our dividend. To track that we're going to subtract zeros from the first four bits minus which will result in the exact same representation. And we track the fact that our divisor is not included in the bits of our dividend by writing down a zero after the equal sign. Now that we have done this check we can get another digit from our dividend which is a zero. And we remember that our divisor did not fit into the four first bits of our dividend. And we now add another zero, which means that we multiply it by two. And now our divisor is included exactly one time in those five bits. So we can subtract our divisor from those bits of the dividend. And for that, we are going to use the negative two's complement representation of the 13. And the fact that our divisor is included exactly once in those bits of the dividend, we're going to write down a 1 after the 0 after the equal sign. Now we can do the subtraction, which will result in 1, 1. And then we are allowed to pull down another bit of our dividend. And when we now check, is our divisor included in those bits of the dividend, we can see it is not. And therefore, we're going to subtract 0. And Mark, note that at the end of our result. After we have done the subtraction we can pull down another bit which is a zero and now we can easily see that our divisor is actually included in those bits of the dividend and we can write down a one and subtract our divisor from those bits. After we are finished with the subtraction we can pull down another digit from our dividend which is the last one which is another zero and then we can see our divisor is not included so we subtract another zero and track the fact that our divisor is not included in those bits in writing down another zero at the end of our result. And we are left with one zero and we don't have any bits we can pull down from the dividend anymore. So this is the remainder of our calculation, which we are going to write down with a capital R here. And when we remember from the multiplication, this is actually the binary representation of 10. And this is the binary representation of 2. So the result of 132 divided by 13 is 10 with a remainder of 2. You can also check the result of the binary division in Python by using the modulo operator and the integer division operator. For that I already entered our numbers 132 and 13 into this Python interactive mode. And now we are going to use the binary division to get our division result. So we use, we store it in D, then we enter X, two slashes, and then Y. 
and we get the remainder by using the modulo so r equals x and the remainder operator is this percent sign and we can now have a look at our results d is 10 which is the result of the division and r is 2 which is the which is the remainder of this division and contrary to the left shift operator which multiplies by 2 there is the right shift operator which divides by 2 so if we got the number 11 and we want to divide it by 2 we use the right shift operator and shift it by one digit and this will result in 5. If we take an even bigger number 123 and want to divide that by 4 we're going to enter a 2 as our operator for the right shift because we divide by 2 and then we divide by 2 once again which is, the, which is a division by 4. When we press enter we get this result. But remember that you're going to lose the remainder when you do it in this way. And this concludes this video on binary multiplication and division. If you got any questions on this video, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. If you want to catch up with me, join our lovely Discord community. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release a new video on computer science and programming. Big shout out to my Patreon subscribers for their support. And if you want to find the next video of this computer science and Python course, click up here. I wish you a fantastic day and hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!